Hey guys, Shen RC, and this is a second part that I'm sharing my Tamayas with you guys. The first part was with my uh, buggies. Now this part's with my trucks I have, the Tamaya trucks. So I have the link down below. If you didn't see my video of the buggies, my Tamaya buggies, you could check that out. What's up, RC Recreation, JD Passel, Jerry VRC, Beanfield, Alice Turrell, Kevin Orson, Clayton Dunlop, I think I got a cricket in here, I don't know if these guys could hear it, hear it, <laughs> there's a cricket in the garage, shut up. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, guys, I'm going to show you. I got 12 Tamaya trucks, and I'm going to show you those. That's my RC's asking how about that Arma Maho, Maja, what is it? Yeah, I've seen that. I'm not big into those uh, UDR types, but it looks cool. Clayton Dunlop is new to the channel. Thanks for stopping in. Hit that thumbs up. I appreciate it, guys. Well, anyway, I'm going to show you my trucks. I'm going to get the uh, two out of the way that uh, I showed with my crawlers because they're, they're to my eyes, but they were in my crawler uh, video I did. I'm going to have to move to the left to get some of these guys because there's no room here. I'm going to have to walk around a bit and come back, so bear with me. Hey, Dad, our season house, what's up? Do you guys hear that cricket? <laughs> I got a cricket in the garage. Eleven Charlie, what's up? Damn thing. Anyway, I'm going to show my uh, crawler to my eyes. Let me get them here. I ain't going to go too crazy with these because I had them in my crawler collection, but these are my CCO ones. If you want to see more about these, look at my uh, crawler video I did live. I show you what's on them and what I did to them. But this is the Volkswagen Touareg. I just want to include it because it is a Tamaya. Just show you guys really quick. And I have two of them. Golden fish tanks. He says he could hear the cricket. I don't know if you guys hear that cricket going. It's pissing me off. Uh, I already got one and I smashed it. I thought it was it, but I guess not. Now here's my other CCO one. This is a Mitsubishi Pajero. Just want to show you guys. Like I said, I have this in my crawlers video. I like these CCO ones. They're fun little trucks. All right, now let me go get something else. Let me put these down real quick. Steve, I just saved the cricket the other night. He's in my room now. This cricket's driving me crazy, guys. <laughs> oh, God. I think I'm the only guy who's probably going to have a live stream with a freaking cricket going the whole time. Yes! You don't want to stop. All right, I'll show you this. I got a few over here that I could reach. Hold on a second, guys. Clayton is asking, is that a hard body? The one, the other two I just showed were the Lex and soft bodies. Basher boy, what's up? 
I have a cricket for you guys tonight. He's going to be singing the blues all night long, so you may fall asleep. So just bear with me. This is a Wild Willy chassis, but it's a Jimny. You can see right here on the back. This is cool. Has uh, the Wild Willy driver in there. He bounces around like crazy. But this is neat. And I have uh, optional aluminum shocks on this. <laughs> oh my God. This cricket's killing me. Jerry's saying that one's nice. Filthy Co., what's up? I have uh, the aluminum shocks on here, aftermarkets. Holy crow, I think I got a, believe it or not, this little sucker. I have a 15-turn Arma motor in here, so this one really goes. I have uh, the 20 tooth pinion in here, a Robinson race, and this is uh, the steel pinion. Full ball bearings. Uh, let me see what's under the hood here. These ones handle a lot better than the Wild Willy because the body's really light. The Wild Willy Jeep body is like real solid. It's heavy and it makes it flip over a lot easier. With these Lexan bodies on these chassis, they handle actually pretty damn good. I'm going to try to look at the comments as I'm doing this. Fern Solo's in the house. Steve O.D.'s here. Yeah, you can see this is a lot lighter than the Jeep body. And I also have a Venom. This is a brush DSC. It's a 240 amp one. So this little sucker pulls wheelies and flies. I put the ESCs in the front on these to hold them down a little bit because I'd rather not do super crazy wheelies. But these are fun. God, that freaking cricket's pissing me off. It's worse, way worse than Steve with the moth on his live. Steve OD had the moth. He had to kill it. This cricket is driving me crazy, guys. <laughs> Holy God. It sounds like I'm outside doing the stream. Beanfield, Alice, Turtle, Steve, them are all kits. Yeah, these are all kits. Island RC Duke stopping in. What's up? So, yeah, these are fun, these little wheelie ones. This is like the wild wheelie, but this is the Jimmy, and uh, it handles a lot better because the body's lighter. So take a look at it one more time before I throw it under the table. It's pretty neat. It's got the lights on the roll bar that move. Wheelie bar. All right, on to the next machine. Look at the comments here. Jerry VRC really likes the Jimmy body. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a mini cloud buster. Clayton says the cricket stopped. Yeah, for a, for a millisecond. Here is a holy god, he stopped. Peace. Whew. CCXRC's in the house. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Hit that thumbs up for me. I appreciate it. This is a uh, the metallic edition uh, Midnight Pumpkin. There goes the cricket again. We had peace for a little bit. This is pretty cool looking. And uh, what did I do to this? I got oil shocks on this one, full ball bearings, the third shock mod in, in the front over on the gearbox, uh, steel pinion gear to Robinson Racing, 
What else did I do to this? I got a 20 turn motor in this one. Uh, I don't know what he, I think I'm running the stock ESC in here. See what these look like. I'll show you under the hood. Peace. The cricket has stopped. This is another fun little truck here. Oh, no. I got a... Uh, this is a 340 amp ESC I got in there. So here's what it looks like. Inside. The bottom. Oh, I got Ampro the body post because they break and these are like a nylon impregnated i didn't put the back ones on because i didn't break them yet oh i also got my uh i don't know if you guys could see it here you could hear it that's the fishing string mod i do it makes the suspension hold the gearbox from flipping up but it allows it to go this way plus still allows it to go up in the slot so the fishing string mod really works the best Anti-wear grease in this one. And that's about it. I, I mostly use stock servos in, in these Tamayas. Nothing special. But a 20-turn motor, it's pretty good. I think I have a couple videos of this one on my channel. Is that really a cricket? Fern Solo, it's a cricket, believe me. He's been chirping all night. I hope he got tired out. Since we started, he's been chirping, and he's on the other side of the garage. <laughs> Crazy cricket. This is my midnight pumpkin. Chrome edition. You know, see what else I got here. Oh, he's starting up again. Well, that's the Chrome Edition Midnight Pumpkin Beauty. Let me throw this under here. See the comments if anyone asks anything. Same lunchbox. Yeah, JD Passel, that's a lunchbox chassis. You guys seen this? I consider this a truck because it has the stadium size wheels on it. And it's really, uh, they had the truck version also, the stadium one. So this is the Blitzer Beetle. I like this one a lot. Looks awesome. Is the sunroof chrome. Bigfoot's asking is the sunroof chrome. No, it's tinted. It's a tinted window on the sunroof. Yeah, this one's a beauty. I really like this one. If you guys didn't check out my, uh, not the last video, the one before, I got some real nice footage of this one going. But this one, let me see what I did to this one. I didn't even show you. I put a brushless motor in there. I don't want it to go too crazy. But so I'll take the lid off here. Like I said, I consider this a truck because it's really a stadium chassis. And it's got the big tires on it. The only thing I did to this body was I put the rubber mirrors on it that I used to make. I still make them sometimes, but hardly ever now. All right, this beauty has 20 50 kV motor in it. And uh, I think I tested it on 3S. Let me try looking at these comments. Particle Man's on here, I guess, or someone's talking about Particle. I guess he's not on here. Uh, 
Did you paint that CCXRC? I'm trying to look back at the comments because it's hard. These are all stickers. You paint the body black, and then they give you these stickers. You put them all on. They're all stickers, so they're actually pretty nice stickers. So that answers the question. And I actually didn't paint it. I It's a black body. I just clear coated it with the Tamaya, and it came out real nice. Brad Kelman's here. Hi, saying. Let me see if I missed anyone else. Actually, motor doesn't look that long with the body off. More obvious. Yeah, this is a standard uh, 540 size can CCX. Let me see. Wow, those are some vibrant stickers. All right. So I got that uh, brushless in here. It's one of those cheap ones, but it works good. I got like a brushless cheap ESC off eBay in there. This one, I reversed the steering spindles to stop the bumps there. I'll try to show you guys. It doesn't hardly have it at all. In stock form, these are reversed. You got to put the right one on the left and you flip them around so the to the ball joints on the bottom like I did. They have it on the top. And when it's on the top, when you push it down, they just go like real far. They, they tow in and out. Bumps there like crazy. The only other thing I did to this was on the uh, shock mount here. I put like a thick rubber hose over the ends on them because these are prone to snap. I put it on the front and on the rear. I think this one came with the oil shocks. I got full ball bearings. I got a Robinson Racing steel pinion in this beauty. And then I put these aftermarket uh, Dora Tracks tires on here. Anti wear grease in it. You could tell it doesn't spin up. I use that in all my diffs that are not oil filled. It works really good. Steve, did you paint them or did they come in a kit like that? Beanfield, these uh, stickers come just like that, and you got to cut them out and, and stick them on. The Tamaya ones, they don't even have them pre-cut. You have to, like, cut them out yourself, which is a kind of a pain. Yeah, when I tested it on 3S and I flipped it, I really scuffed it up over here. I was, like, scared when I seen it tumble on the cement. A little bit on the front here, too. <laughs> But no more 3S in this beauty. I think it went like 31 miles an hour, which was pretty good. Geo one how many years have you been in an RC? Probably about 40. All right, so this is that one, guys. Real nice one if you want a nice looking bug. This is a beauty. I'll have to get the next one up here really quick. Hold on a second. Next combatant. The Cloud Buster Beauty. I don't know if you guys could see the, the paint change of the colors from the camera, but there's my Cloud Buster. This is a Lexan body. This is a Lexan body. I don't know if you guys, I'll take this body off real quick. So I want to show you my real body. I painted up. Well, I painted this one up too, but I got a hard body. The original one, I only ran it a couple times. Dang it.
And Allie Underground's in the house. What's up? Okay, let me tell you what I got in here first. I have... Whoa, what are we locking up here? What's going on here? These guys still seeing me or is this thing messing up here? All right, I'm back. I don't know what was happening. Something was messing up on my screen. I don't know if he's uh, missed anything. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Something messed up on the screen. It just started all malfunctioning and flickering. Let me check something here. All right. All right, let me show you what I have in here. This has full ball bearings, Robinson Racing steel pinions. I have the EVX2 Traxxas ESC in there. I have the ESS sound unit, the one sound unit in there to give it the thundering sound when I drive it. You'll see in my videos. I got one oil shock on each corner. What else do I got? I made my own custom skid plates on the bottom. I got 220 turn motors in there. 220 turn motors. And uh, I think inside here I have a heavy-duty metal geared servo instead of using the stock disc that steers with the two balls in there. I put a aluminum one that's larger so the steering turns sharper. But that's what I did to this one. Anti-wear grease in it, but it's hard to tell with these big tires. But here's my original body I painted, but I have lights in it in the front, but... I'm just going to put it on to show you guys. That's my original body I painted up. So there you go. That's my clod. These things are heavy, but they're fun. Take care, Fern Solo. All right, I'm going to get the next uh, thing, uh, get my next truck out here. Hold on, guys. Yeah, this is four-wheel drive. The Cloudbusters four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering. The back and front turn, so it's pretty neat. Let me get my next truck out here. Here's another one of the uh, Wild Willy chassis trucks. This is really neat. This is a neat one. Again, this is full ball bearings. I didn't put oil shocks on this one. This one has a 340 amp BSC. This is the same chassis as the Jimny I showed you, the green one. I have a Robinson Racing pinion in there and a 20 turn motor in this little beauty. And I'll see it up close again because this one's pretty cool. You don't 
really get what it really looks like in person. It's neat. This one's fun, handles a lot better than the Wild Willy also because Lex and Body, this one's a crazy hard to paint. It has all these windows in here you have to mask. It's really hard to do. It's like a lot of work, but comes out nice. They give you like chrome emblems and accents. Tug RC stopping in. Thanks for stopping in, Rick Johnson. Particle Man's here. Yeah, this fan's pretty neat looking. It does the wheelies too, so when it drives, you'll see it go like down the street. <laughs> it's nice. And I put the 20 turn motor in there, so it's pretty, pretty quick for what it is. All right, let me grab another vehicle. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> One of my favorites. One of the funnest vehicles ever. Lunchbox. Beauty. This is my Tamaya Lunchbox. I have a lot of videos on this one. I really beat it down and bash it a lot i have a sound system in this one and again this is a lex and body because if you did what i do with it it would destroy the plastic body i'm trying to look at these comments but i know i'm probably missing a lot nice fade on the paint yeah, thanks, Denali. That was a cool one. Sean's RC Adventures is in the house. Guys, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate it. All oh, this little lunchbox beauty here. What I did to this one is, I'll show you inside. Oh, I hate these little clips because I don't have, like, fingernails because I bite my nails off. Actually, I didn't go with the oil shocks on this one because I I did some little trick to make it kind of like oil. Not really they're like rubber on them, so they work better. I have the sound unit in here. I think I have another one of those 340 amp ESCs. It's tucked down there. I got the third shock mod in there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. You can see it. Let me put my head there, right there. See if I could read some of these comments. Wayne stole my black edition lunchbox. JD. <laughs> A lunchbox of beauty. Anti-wear grease, full ball bearings, uh, RP, uh, what is it? Uh, Robinson Racing uh, steel pinion gear. Third shock mod in my fishing string mod here that makes the suspension work much better what else is on this beauty kimbro servo saver i put these uh rubber hoses here i don't know if you guys could see them there's little there right there rubber hose pieces there so when you put the battery in it puts it forward a little bit more so it doesn't do wheelies as easy and uh what else did i do Aluminum body mounts because if you use the stock plastic ones after a while when you hit when you flip the ends break off So the aluminum body mounts are good for this. You could get them on eBay 20 turn motor in here a door tracks And this is fun as hell. I like the lunchbox one of my favorites And here's my body. I never ran it Let's see if I can put it on.
There it is. There she goes. This is my uh, body. I painted up. I did it in white. I never ran this one. It's kind of overexposed. Let me bring it back. This particle man's leaving later part of later particle man. Steve says he's still got the stock plastic mat. Surprised they haven't broke it. Yeah, it's when you tumble them hard, the impact, boom, and it just knocks the ends off. Jerry VRC, I'm so excited I get mine on Wednesday. Cool, this is a fun truck. And like I said, I never ran it with this body. Let's see what else I have here. Hold on a second. Adventure Time RC is here, and he's saying, mine are holding to Steve-O. I stripped the servo in mine. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I usually run stock cheap servos in them. I usually sometimes put the uh, Kimbro servo savers on all these Tamayas because the stock ones, they have a lot of play in them and it, it drives kind of funny. Thanks, Particle Man. All right, let's see what else I got here. This guy's seen this one in my drift video. I have the drift tires on it still. This is another Jimny. I think this is the MF01X or something like that. Chassis. It's a nice looking truck. Steve OD saying Chad's getting a new new bright. RC batter, every time the cricket goes off, say beauty loud and it will shut up. Beauty! Woo, it worked. <laughs> oh, it's back. <laughs> All right, what I got on this beauty here is the oil socks, the mini ones they sell to my. I got a uh, damn cricket. I got the aluminum steering servo saver to hop up part. You can see that. Let me take off the body here. Brad's saying he's not getting a new bright. I know what he's getting. Brad's getting that new uh, arm of the one that just came out, the buggy. All right, what I have on this is they give you the torque tune motor. It's actually pretty quick with this little one here. I got another one of these 340 amp ESCs. Oil shocks. I modified the suspension because stock one side stays up like kind of like this. You have to like modify it and cut a notch out over here to let it drop. I also cut the notch off the bottom of these red uh, knuckles because they left a thing hanging out low so you always snagged up when you take it off road I put anti-wear grease in it you can see works really good it don't keep spinning I use that like I said in all the open diffs and that's this chassis is pretty fun who bought it for him this time <laughs> Tycho's RC Recreation Tycho's Turbo Hopper. Brad is getting a ticket to the chocolate factory. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see something here real quick. Oh, I can lower that down. I could have some killer road box. <laughs> All right, let me see what I got next here. Tycho's are sweet. 
Let me see what else I got here, guys. I'm almost done. I'm almost out of trucks. Now here's the Wild Willie. Clayton Dunlop, how much did that drift car cost? You're talking about the blue truck I was just showing or the one over here? Whiplash RC. I missed it all. No. <laughs> Here's the Wild Willie. I put oil shocks on this beauty. The Cricket's coming to help me out here. We'll explaining what I got. I got uh, oil shocks, full ball bearings, Robinson racing, steel pinion gear. I put a sport tuned black motor in there if it's my one. And uh, what else did I do to this little beauty here? Let me see what's under the hood. These are nice, but the body on them is really heavy. Like I said, them other ones I showed with the Lexan bodies, they handle the turns, curves much better. Uh, this is, I don't know how to show you guys how heavy it is. I'll just show you by dropping it on the table. You'll realize. Ready? It's like a lead weight. This body so heavy. <laughs> Showing off your willy, eh? <laughs> These are cool. Yeah, this one I got the stock ESC. And like I said, I put it up front so it does the wheelies less. But it really don't help. I got a 20 tooth pinion in this beauty too. And that's the Wild Willie. Oh, here's my other body. I used to have three of these. I had a yellow one. It was cool, too. And here's the Army body. It comes in this color out of the box. The Army body. That's how it came. The Wild Willie 2000. With the canteens as the nitrous bottle in there and stuff. Cool little trucks. Lots of fun if you like wheelies and stuff. Get one of these. Fashion Boy says, wow, that looks awesome, Steve. Thanks. Appreciate it. Both of the drift cats. I forgot how much the uh, this one here is. Like 219 ready to run. I think that's like 170 for the kit. I don't know what it is now because they jacked prices up. I like the wacky Tamaya's wheelie. is fun. <laughs> Adventure Time RC likes the, the wacky Tamaya wheelie one, trucks. J.D. Passel says, Brad has the Barbie car. And he says, J.D., no, I don't have a Barbie car. <laughs> Rick Johnson says, a heavy body will give you more traction. Yeah, it, 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 it's really heavy. It, it makes it tumble more. Steve, I don't know if that's your cricket or his cricket making a noise. <laughs> Stereo. Stereo crickets. I think they made Wild Willy 2 ready to run, but these were kits. I put them together. RC Basher Boy, are you showcasing the Sand Scorcher? Uh, I have a link to the video in this one below. I, I showed all my Tamaya buggies. I already did that first video. This is the ending video with my truck. So if you want to see that, just click back on the link.
Barbie car with a brushless motor. <laughs> Denali Underground saying, is there a Tamaya Cricket? There's one in my garage. <laughs> nah, they got the grasshopper, no crickets. It's peaceful now. He's not barking. It's pretty nice. You have the orange Volkswagen bug in your photo. Yeah, that's upstairs. I have that. That's an old Cox car. Gas car. <laughs> Cricket copyright. <laughs> yeah, Brad, I also have a hornet. Actually, I have two hornets. What's the big one blue green on your left? Tugga's asking. You probably missed it, so I'll show you it real quick. It's the Clod Buster. You guys probably never seen it. I think I only have like one or two videos with my uh, hard body on it. I usually run it with the black body on it. I got the Lexan Parma. So that's the Clod Buster. Dang, this thing weighs a ton. Shin, you have some amazing RC car stuff. Thanks, I appreciate it. All right, let's see what else I have here. I'm getting low on trucks. I can move this over. I'll be right back. <laughs> Another monster. <laughs> this is a Clod Buster chassis, the same thing as the Clod Buster. Move this body here. This is the bullhead. Oh, these things are pretty heavy, guys. <laughs> and I'll tell you what I got into this beauty here. This one's a little more fixed up than this. This one's running like a stock steering. This one ain't. Let me take this body off here. Cricket couldn't have went in a different place. Had to stay here. This one has lights in the front. They're bright. They're not. I <laughs> put. They're green ones in here. I got connectors so I could take the body off on, on this. All right. What I got on this one, I'll give you this guys the rundown. RC Recreation Suite, that's a beauty. Thanks. Rick Johnson, wow, I had two Cox sandblasters when I was. Oh, yeah, I, I look at my channel, search Cox car. I converted them to RC, the sandblasters and the all M ones. I have them converted into RC cars if you want to check them out running. All right, what I did to this beauty, it's full ball bearings, Robinson racing pinions, steel. This got the 20 turn motors in it. This has the on the axle, uh, as guys could see it, on the axle special mount with the steering servos. There's one in the front and one in the back, so it has two servos for the steering. What else did this one got? Uh, I know I did. Oh, this one's got oil shocks on it. It has 
I don't know if you see this part here. I think it's an inch lift kit. You put that on the top and it drops the shocks down. It gives you like an inch lift kit. I got another one of those sound box units, the ESS ones in here. What else did I do anything else? No, that's about it for this one. It's it's not stock like the, the Cloud Buster. This one has the steering setups on the axle. You can make it turn a lot sharper. Sean's RC Adventures asking, where about in Jersey are? I got in the car now and I'm come take a care. He's going to come down and take care of the cricket. I need some of that bug spray. Adventure Time RC, after I watched your cloud video, I had to buy one, the Frozen Pond video. Yeah, that's fun. I'm, I never went on the ponds that much. I started doing it. Now every year I try to go out on the pond with the trucks. It's, it's fun. Oh, let me see. Denali Underground, no, I haven't. I have a Cloudbuster, but never picked up a bullhead. Is he going to be on Zoom tonight? Frank, Rick Johnson, Shen. That was your dog's name? Yeah. And his nickname, his real name was Yanto, but I used to play around and call him Shen Lanko. So that was what it was at first, my channel. If you look at my older videos. No one knew how to spell it or remember it, so I switched it, I don't know how many years, maybe two or years ago or something, to Shen RC so it'd be easy to remember. Spray some J's on the cricket. <laughs> Jeez, green RC's in the house. Thanks for stopping in. Hit that thumbs up for me. I appreciate it. All right, so basically this one's just modified with 20 turn motors and the steering on the uh, front axles like the uh, servos and it has the lift kit on it because you needed to do that. And I have the sound unit in it and all the green LEDs in the bumper and in the front here. And this one comes with this flag you put on, so it's pretty cool. Clayton says, great color. Yeah, this is that metallic limeish green. All right, let me go get, I think I got the last one here for you guys. Let me go get it. This one's kind of neat looking. This is on the lunchbox chassis again. This is the Mitsubishi, the Pajero thing or whatever it is. Yeah, the Pajero. This one's awesome looking. I used this, I think, once or twice. I, mean, I think once in a video. But this one's cool. I think I left this one all stock. Only thing I do to these ones I don't put the oil shocks are is I put little, uh, Tamai gives you these rubber hoses in the kits. I cut it and I put it on the shock shaft on the top where it goes through the chassis. So it kind of dampens it. And also it doesn't let the suspension, usually these hang down a lot lower. I put it a couple millimeters so it holds them more straight instead of like sag down on an angle the front and it helps it handle better this one i left stock nothing special to this one it's all stock except for i put the robinson racing uh steel pinion gear in this one and uh what else did i do full ball bearings and that's it the mitsubishi this is the same chassis as the lunchbox. It's pretty cool looking. Frog City RC's in the house. Uh, 
Basher Boy says, I had a cloud buster before. It was in bad condition. I just decided to sell it. Yeah, and now the prices on them went up so high, it's like crazy, all the new Tamiya kits. So that's my Tamiya trucks, guys. There's only one thing left I want to show Steve O.D. Because he asked about it last time, so I'm going to try to explain to him. All right. Steve, you looking? Hit me with an eye, eye sir. Remember I told you about putting them E-clips on? Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, all right. Steve, make believe this is the metal rod. This is the metal rod you put the E-clip on. How it has the groove in, and you have it on your part. Say the E-clip goes like on the top. You put the E-clip in the groove, then you use your wrench whichever size goes over the e-clip so once you have your e-clip on the groove like started you put the wrench over it and then you snap it to the left whichever way you have to push it you put it over it and you push it and snap it on so that way if it pops off it won't fly out because it'll be inside the wrench you understand kind of what i'm trying to explain If you understand it, just let me know. <laughs> so that's how you do it. If you don't want them to have them flying all over and you lose them, you try like that. Once you learn it, it works really good. Rick Johnson, I just lost my German Shepherd. His name was Turbo. He died of cancer. He was 12. That's actually, it's, I'm sorry you lost him, but 12 years old is actually a real long, good life for a Shepherd. I used to have them when I was a kid. Even my boxer, he lived almost to 13. Usually I find some people with boxers, they only could live like seven to eight, nine years long, you know. But. Thanks for that tip. Those things drive me nuts. Yeah, they're crazy, them little clips. The Kyosho Turbo Optima had E-clips. Rough times, but I got them on. Yeah, you could use a needle nose pliers. I do that too sometimes, but so that's what happens. Sometimes you squish them on and they fly off and you can't find them. When you cover them with a the wrench and you push them on with the wrench like that, if they snap off they usually you look in the wrench they'll stay inside so that's why it's good to do that steve od says he lost his black lab a couple months ago he was 10 years old sorry steve dogs are the best there's nothing like a dog they're the best adventure time rc says he uses a small set of channel locks to put the eclipse on. <laughs> Everyone does them different. I actually use pliers. I use this. Sometimes I'll do, uh, I'll even use an X Acto blade and I'll have it on and I'll use the X Acto knife. I think you guys seen me taking some eclipse off when I was working on one of the trucks live and they go, one of the guys said, Oh my God, Steve's using X Acto knife to take the eclipse off. So I stick it in the eclipse and pop it off. <laughs> Basher Boy says he don't want to spoil the beans, but the Kyosho Optima is almost done. That's cool. I think Kyosho uses a lot more of them Eclipse. I think Tamaya really didn't use the Eclipse that much. Kyosho, I think, used them a lot. Frog, Frog City RC says, Shen, how long have you been doing YouTube? 
Uh, you got to check, search my videos, I think, for the oldest. For, I think it might have been like 2006. I'm not sure. I have some old videos when guys didn't hardly ever go in water with RC cars. And I remember I, I made my car. I had the, uh, back then they weren't called Tamiya CCO1s. They were called Tamiya XC trucks, the chassis. And I had it going in the park, almost going all the way under. It looked like an alligator head coming up and down. And everyone was like, surprised, how did you go underwater? <laughs> Island RC Duke, thanks for the show, Shin. Later, all. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. And if you guys uh, didn't hit that thumbs up, hit it out on the way out. And uh, I appreciate all the support. It helps me out. Basher Boy has a seven-hour stream. It took him to do all his cars on a showcase. Yeah, I, I got a lot of cars. I did uh, two live videos for the Tamayas, and I really don't talk about them a lot, lot. Like, so I try to get them going quick, you know. But it'll take forever to do them all. So I just chopped it for my Tamayas and my Corollas. I think I have three live shows now. So. Uh, that's my Tamaya collection, guys. If anyone wants to see it, who missed it, who's just looking in, you have to rewind it and look from the beginning. And if you want to see my Tamaya buggies, like I said, I have the link below in this video here. You could click on that. You're welcome, guys. It's always fun. RC family for life. Beauty. <laughs> All right, guys, I appreciate you stopping in, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, as always. Take care, guys, and good night. Now I got to end this. Where's the button? There it is. <laughs> Later, guys.